Today. Okay, time to talk Love After Lockup and 90 Day Fiance. First, we're going to talk about this Love After Lockup, Sarah's new boyfriend, Malcolm. We're going to talk about that. And then we're going to talk about uh, Colt and Vanessa of 90 Day Fiance being spotted filming. Okay, I, I just don't know where to begin. People, what? I don't know where to begin. Let's start with the whole Malcolm story. So, uh, like a couple days ago, it came out that uh, Sarah's new boyfriend, Malcolm, was an actor. And everybody was up in arms. Oh, did she pay him to be her boyfriend? Oh, you know, this is the worst thing in the world. He's an actor. What if he's taking advantage of her? I'm like, calm down, people. Will you guys calm down? I was not, I did not react that way, not one single bit, because I know the first time I see someone on my TV screen, on one of the shows that I uh, cover, the first thing I'm gonna do is run a uh, background check. This is, I mean, it's not shocking to you, you guys know this. You know how I operate. I run a background check. After I ran the background check, I said, my first thought was, what in the hell is wrong with everybody? Being a paid actor, a bot, so-called bot boyfriend is the least of her problems, okay? This guy's rap sheet, was the length of my arm. And it almost, I want to call it Michael Est. It reminded me of Michael. <laughs> Michael Est. Okay, Sarah, you sure do know how to pick him. Okay, so let's address the whole is he a paid actor thing. Okay, he listed himself as being an actor. Everyone started jumping to conclusions saying that she bought a new boyfriend for the show. Well, if she, let's just say that ridiculous statement is true. You sure did a, a shitty job of buying a, a paid actor. I'm sure there's a lot more actors out there without a rap sheet, okay? And that remind me of Michael. These two are one of the same, Michael and Malcolm. First, let me read off uh, his rap sheet, okay? Like, really, Sarah? She should really have some kind of rules in place so she can stop dating alleged bums, okay? That doesn't mean I don't like you, uh, Malcolm or Michael. I'm just saying, you guys love jail. <laughs> okay, so this was his, um, on his rap sheet. Aggravated assault, simple assault and harassment, resisting arrest, tampering with evidence, possession of the white powder drug, you know, that, uh, so many of this show is fond of. Well, I can't really say so many are fond of. So many of the show have been accused of doing. What is the nickname for the drug white powder stuff? Um, let's just call it Coca-Cola, <laughs> okay? Possession of Coca-Cola and then possession of drug paraphernalia. This is a man, okay? These are my first thoughts here, people. Don't judge me, don't judge me. That uh, likes to get high, <laughs> okay? I'm going to need to know the details to some of these arrests. No, to all of the arrests. Aggravated assault? Do we need to be afraid that you might lose your temper and fly off the handle? I mean, this proves so much. Number one, you're not calm and cool and collective like you appear to be on the show. Okay, that, that's number one. Anybody running around town getting arrested for these things, you've got a temper. If you ask me, don't bite the messenger. That's just my opinion. Also, let me go into some of the details. Okay, so the public records show that uh, he was accused of fighting four officers in Allentown. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Fighting officers? Okay. I'm not going to judge you. I mean, not yet. Let me keep going on. Also, um, it includes allegedly pushing one in a, putting one of the officers in a headlock. <laughs> make this up. I do not make this up. So then, okay, fine. You, you know, sometimes you just got to put a cop in a headlock, I guess, every now and then. But then, um, this is what really set the alarm bells off for me. According to the police, the suspect dropped the, what did I say? Coca-Cola. Okay. He, that he was holding on the cell floor, uh, trying to get rid of it. <sighs> Michael, <sighs> Sarah, do you need some kind of class? on how to pick a man, okay? First you pick uh, Michael, and not only did you pick Michael, who's in and out of the can, the slammer, every other week, in my opinion, it feels like that. You have two children with him, okay? You allegedly learned your lesson. Th that's the lie you told us. I've learned my lesson, I'm done with Michael, let me move on to a new boyfriend. That's the 
nothing's wrong with moving on to a new boyfriend, but a new boyfriend that likes to put cops in headlocks? <laughs> Make it make sense, people. Make it make sense. Listen, Sarah, I'm not trying to roast you or read you or any of that. I'm just pointing out you don't know how to pick them. There, I said it. Is that mean? It doesn't mean that Malcolm's a bad person. You know, he's very cute. I think he's very cute. And, you know, if he's an actor, like he claims, he's an out-of-work actor, but, you know, at least he has a job. I mean, right? Okay, so I'm not going to fault him for that. I'm just faulting Sarah because... This is not boyfriend material. This is not baby daddy material. You might as well just kept Michael. At least we know him and we're used to his nonsense. But bring on someone else new that is basically walking in my Michael's shadow, rap sheet and all. I don't think it's necessary. I mean, it just you can you should have just slept with Michael again and had baby number three instead of bringing on a new player, okay? A future possible baby daddy, you know, if we go by the old playbook. Sarah, we are worried for you, okay? I'm not trying to throw shade here, but this might not be a good decision. Even, let's just say the rumors are true, which I don't believe. Let's say you bought him a paid actor to be your boy boyfriend on this season. You still, still he didn't do a good job. Aren't there actors out there without a rap sheet? I'm just saying, do I believe that she purchased a boyfriend for the upcoming season? No, I do not. I think this is all legit, on the up and up. She honestly does not know how to pick men, in my opinion. But we'll talk about that later on in the comment section. Let's move on to Cult and Vanessa. Okay, so there's uh, rumors flying around town that they are filming. <laughs> my, my first reaction was, what? Huh? Filming what? Why? Not or a possible spinoff, which would be even worse. What more do we need to see from these two, okay? We already know Colt's a cheater and, and Vanessa doesn't mind. Does it mean we're going to bring back a new girlfriend for him to cheat on again? I mean, Jess was enough for me, but I, no, there's no okay. I do not want to see this storyline anymore. That was my first reaction. Then I thought about it. I don't know if you guys noticed. This season of a uh, 90 day fiance the other way it just bores me to pieces is that bad <laughs> even though the storylines are real and whatnot halfway through i just stopped caring about it so maybe we should bring colt back he's a professional liar that knows how to put out storylines because in my opinion he's been dating vanessa the whole time and either he used just for a storyline or just was in on it either way it, it was the same result you know he is the perfect person to bring back because he knows how to handle the media, okay? Give me just enough inner, just enough um, storyline where I'm intrigued or, you know, where I go complaining about it because, you know, I love to complain. Those are the best videos. So Colt's going to give me that. Even if he brings back another plant, that's what I call a new girlfriend. Okay, fine. But he doesn't do it enough to get himself in trouble. He doesn't do it enough to get himself fired like Larissa and allegedly Devin and, and Paul. You know, he's not going to be running to the police station saying that Vanessa put glass in his food to take his life. No, he knows how to do reality television. Lie to me just enough to get me upset, get me riled up so I can do a video about it, but not too riled up where I write you off as just the damn liar that's worthless and not worth me looking at this season. I think it's a good idea now that I sat down and thought about it, okay? But that's just my opinion. I'm sure you guys are going to say, who wants to see Colt or Vanessa another season? What more is there to say? Chill out, guys. We don't want to be bored to death like the other way is doing us. I mean, really, in mid-season, I just lost... What, what's the word I'm looking at? I just stopped caring. <laughs> I really did. I really did. But as I say in every video, we all have our different opinions, and that just happens to be mine. We got a lot to talk about, guys, in the comments section. Do you guys think that... Um, Malcolm's a paid actor just to be her boyfriend on this upcoming season. Number two, do you guys think that if he isn't a paid actor, shouldn't she have just kept Michael so we don't have to meet someone new? Because basically they're the same person. In my opinion, let me know how you feel about that. And then Colt and Vanessa, who's on board? 
I'm on board, okay, people? I, I know I'm alone. Let me know in the comments section why am I by myself? Why do you guys not want to see Cole and Vanessa again? Or are you like Sherelle? Might not be a bad idea. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. It does wonders for my video. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell, go ahead and do that. I'll meet you guys in the comments section. We gotta talk about this stuff. We really do. Until next time, bye for now.